Hey, hey, welcome to another Star Trek video. In today's video, we're going to be talking a little bit about furnace arrays and why you need them. So, I'm just going to get straight into it. I do also have a little message at the end, so if you don't want to, if you get bored at any point, please do skip to that, it's quite important. So yeah, let me show you furnace arrays. Now, here is a 50 furnace array. I've decided to make a while ago, actually. I've just never made a video on it, just because um, we were using it on Hive Tech for a bit, ironing out any bugs with it, so we, we decided to play test it first, and there's a few storages that are going to use this that are coming up, so it's probably a good time to address this. But why do we need a furnace array? Well, one furnace takes 10 seconds to smell a single item that's 360 an hour which really isn't a lot and that's very slow so to maximize what we can with this let's look at how fast a hopper can input items which is as probably a lot of you know 9000 items an hour so if we have 9000 and we divide it by 360 we get 25 which means you need 25 furnaces running to equal hopper speed. Now, in bigger arrays, where they will use hopper minecarts to take out the items because it's too fast. So if you were to have more than 25 in a row, you absolutely need hopper carts below. Uh, or you can have like a hopper into a dropper into a water stream, but that's more likely than a hopper cart would be at that point. So most people will just use a hopper cart. Now to input items, we can put fuel in from any of the sides, but obviously we're working with one wide, so it's just the left or the right. The item you want to smelt has to go in through the top, which leaves the bottom to take out the item, so that's good. But as you may have noticed, on my array over here, I've used hoppers. And that's because this is a 50 furnace array, which is obviously half. We have half of the 50 on both sides, which is 25, which is hopper speed. So we can happily use hoppers down here and it doesn't cause it a problem. Uh, in this array, there is a slight issue with the fuel I'm using, which is lava. Because they obviously produce buckets every so often. So there is like a brief time that this line will be backed up a little bit. Not enough to notice, and you would have to run it for hours and hours and hours for anything to really happen. So, what makes a furnace array tricky to build, because it's just furnaces in a row, you could send a hover minecart going round and round. Now yes you could, but hover minecarts just sitting around is quite laggy. Chest minecarts could be a solution, but again, just having entities around is laggy. So we usually decide to yeet them into a cactus and dispense them and pick up exactly the amount of items we need and then send it, which in this case is 50 items. But how do we do that? It's quite simple. We have a clock. Now, you may be familiar with an etho hopper clock like this. However, they use pistons, they're quite loud, it's just not overall a good solution. So I've found this design, uh, I can't quite remember where, if I do remember I will put it in the comments or pinned in the description even. But yes, this is really good, there is no pistons, it has a single observer which is really nice. And if I turn it on, you'll see. It will do the same sort of thing. Now, I do have to pulse this. So you do have to pulse this line when you use it, which I can do like that. Oh, I did it a bit too quickly. There we go. Problems aside, you can see it working here. It does the exact same thing, it locks that hopper, then it locks that hopper, then it locks that hopper, and so on. Um, my stopping and starting method here wasn't great. Um, you usually want to lock this hopper, not this one, so that's what that furnace array does over there. 
which we'll take a look at now. So all it is, is it's the same thing, just wired a little bit differently. So you can see it comes around here. And we do stop that hopper, not this one, even though it's locked. Um, because that one is locked, obviously, by this first. And then we just have a little global line on top to stop the array. So what you'll notice <coughs> is if I put items into here and I turn it on and we look inside, oh, not the fuel, you'll see the items get taken out and it will stop at exactly 14. Meaning when this hopper car comes around, what you'll notice is it turns all of the things on gets broken, and there is absolutely no items left over. We will then send the other cart 10 seconds later. Well, it's actually not exactly 10 seconds in this array. It's slightly off just due to the timings. I didn't want to fix it. It doesn't cause any problems. But as we can see, it just keeps going. Now, obviously, this is a manual on and off. Uh, I prefer this, and it really wouldn't be hard to make this automatic. Um, I just prefer being able to let it run for a while, and for the global locking and everything, it just made a lot more sense. So as we can see, it's going. It should have... yeah, it smelted them all, so we can turn it off. And as we can see down here, we got our buckets, obviously, but we got our two stacks of netherite scrap. So, obviously, for this array, it will smell 100 items every 20 seconds, or 50 every 10 seconds, that's probably a better way to word that. Or 18,000 items every hour, which is um, considerably better from, you know, our 360. Now, an array like this will just consume fuel. Obviously, it needs a lot and lot of fuel, which is why I actually use lava. Because lava has a really interesting property that it doesn't actually consume anything. You get exactly what you put in back. So, like, if you were to put 10 lava buckets in, you will get 10 buckets back that you can send to a lava farm with like an AFK player picking up lava, which can get sent to your array, and back and do that loop. And you never lose items. You only lose, obviously, the physical lava. Which is quite interesting for me. I'm not sure why bigger arrays don't use lava. Obviously, as I mentioned, there's a pretty big problem with the buckets. But it's an interesting concept I thought of, that it doesn't actually consume anything. Obviously, coal, you need to constantly supply that with, like, a wither skeleton farm or something. But this is just, like, it's just sending items to and from a farm over and over and over again. And it just works. Uh, I do want to mention as well, this array is public. You can download this. Uh, it's on the HiveTech archives on, obviously, the HiveTech Discord. So, yeah. That's everything I have to say, and as I mentioned, I do have a little message. Well, I actually kind of have two messages. The first one being, oh my word, I'm kind of close to 500 subscribers. I'm like literally five away is recording this. So any support with that would be amazing. 500 is something I never thought would be possible. Even 100 was inconceivable to me at the time. But I've realised now that I'm somewhat good at this, and people seem to enjoy my explanations with things now that I'm laying everything out individually and explaining the parts better. I do want feedback on how I'm presenting these two. Do you like the black sky? Personally, I do. It's not distracting. It's clean. Do you like how I'm laying everything out? Is there anything I could improve? Do I ramble too much? Because I know I do. Either way, just general feedback about what I do would be really appreciated. Also, I am in college now. Um, I had my first few days in college the other week, 
and it's kind of cool. It's not something I planned for, really. Um, obviously, I knew I wanted to go to college, but it will have a minor impact on my content. Not really a lot, because, as I mentioned to a few people on Discord, I have more than enough time when I'm not in college to actually do stuff. I will obviously be developing all of this in college at, like, lunchtimes and stuff. Not in lessons, because, um, I really like college. I like the lessons I'm doing, so I'm not gonna, obviously, get distracted. Either way, don't worry about content. It's, you're gonna barely even notice. I did have that one few weeks of, like, almost daily uploading or every other day or whatever it was that won't be happening <laughs> yeah that just won't happen that was mainly because i had a lot to show at the time and it was easy to make videos but yeah that's pretty much everything i have to say anything else i think of i'll probably put in a comment or something but yes you can download this on hive tech and any issues i'd be happy to answer and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.